loves and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup routine. I thought that since it is the new year, I'd show you guys something that I haven't done on this channel, which is a makeup routine. I don't really normally do anything too crazy, so I just wanted to show you guys what I would do normally, especially on Fridays because I normally have games. So without me ranting too much, let's get into this. So to start off this little makeup look, I use the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with aloe and herbs and stuff in it and I'll spread that all over my face to then let it dry as you saw I fan off my face. The next thing that I will use is the Ultra Repair Cream and that I will just get a little dot on my finger because I don't need to use too much and I will just blob it all over my face and then I will rub it in. After I finish putting on my moisturizer I will then grab my pink little beauty blender and my smashbox studio skin 15 hour long wear foundation and i'm not sure what shade it is guys i really don't know my shades change literally every like two months it's crazy i will then squirt about two squirts or two pumps whatever you like to call it onto my um hand and dab it onto my cheek and then blend it in <laughs> The next thing that I will use is my Bare Minerals Bare Pro in Sandalwood shade 15. It's a little powdered foundation so I just put it over my extra foundation so it's a little bit extra bit of I guess a fuller look and a more completed look. I will just then brush it lightly all over my entire face. I normally don't put like actual foundation, foundation, liquid foundation on my forehead just because for some odd reason if I do that it makes my forehead literally look white as a ghost and the rest of my like face from my eyes down look darker and I'm not even sure why so I normally just put this powdered foundation on my forehead mostly and not like actual real foundation because I don't know if you can tell in the video but it kind of looks a little lighter than the bottom half of my face which is super weird and I don't know why it does that. The next thing that I use is this MAC blush and to be completely honest with you the back is so like demented and I can't see a single thing the tag says but it's like this erogeous pink color and for my skin tone it's like enough for me to use and make it pop but honestly I don't know what this shade number is called I literally cannot tell you if I somehow manage to scrape it off and be able to see I will put it like on the screen but I truly don't know what shade that is the next thing that I use is the Tarte Amazonian clay I think it's bronzer maybe it's contour I always forget no it's like bronzer and it's Park Avenue princess and it looks like that obviously I then put that under my blush just a little bit kind of where the creases of my cheek I don't even know what that's called guys I gotta get it together and then I also put it a little bit like under my cheeks by my chin and then up by my forehead on the sides next thing that I'll be using is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I will just apply that to both eyelids and then after I do that I will just rub it in with my pinky because I found that since it's the smallest it's easier to rub it in <laughs> next proceed to use the morphe palette that i just got for christmas actually it has 35 shades in it and they don't have names so basically the ones that i point to first are the ones that i'm using to put all over my eyelid <music> bottom of my palette are the two that I'm going to be using for the outside corner of my eyelid. This next lightish white color I will then use to put in my crease just ever so slightly and very light just to kind of blend the colors a little bit together better so they don't look so choppy. After I 
blend it out my eyeshadow a little bit i will proceed to go into my Too faced chocolate bar palette and use the top shade which is basically almost as white as the other shade but this i will actually put on the rest of my eyelid under my eyebrow basically up to the bottom of my eyebrow and then also i will put a little bit of it on my brush and go over my entire eyeshadow look just to make it a little bit lighter and come together better once i am done with that step i will go to the bottom row of my Too Faced palette and get the shimmery color along with the shimmery color above it i'm sorry i do not know the names of them but i use those two colors and i blend them together to then put them into the crease of my eye Next, I will use my Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I will use the spoolie side first, which my camera is not focusing, but I use the spoolie side first, and I just brush out my brows, kind of make them the shape that I want them to be before I put on the actual, like, kind of drawn on part, but the filler of the brow. So, on the other end, I will use the brow filler or brow pencil to add in the extra kind of look and color. <music> The next thing that I will do is use another spoolie and just kind of separate my eyelashes so that way when I put on the mascara they don't look all clunky and spider like like but then also before I put on my mascara I will curl my eyelashes so that way they're extra curly and maybe look extra long because my eyelashes are super short and I do not like that at all whatsoever. After I'm done curling my eyelashes and spooling them out, I use my Genzing Origins Mascara and it's super nice and actually for not being like a name brand makeup product, it works really nicely and makes my eyelashes look super long. Finally, to complete this makeup routine, I will use the Glow Lip Gloss in Secret Agent. Thank you guys so much for watching my everyday makeup routine i really hope you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe down below so you can see every time i post a new video bye